Perfect. All right, what's up? We back. Episode seven. I got the first female here today. The one and only Sierra Cullen. I'm not gonna say your Instagram because I'm gonna tag that later. Feel me? But yeah, we probably just we just gonna chat it up a little bit. So first, like, introduce yourself a little bit. Okay. Well, my name is Sierra Cullen. Um. I don't even know where to go with this. Like okay. talk about like what you do, like what you do. So what do you mean what I do? Like like what keeps you busy? What keeps me busy? Alright. 90% of the time I'm just by myself and I'm doing art outside. That's on my I, free time. On my free time. Just want to try to know cool. she was upstairs when you came in here and she's been at this cactus for about five minutes. I was. I love playing. I've realized over the, the past couple of months, I've been trying to find myself and find what I like and find like who I am. Because I feel like there's a lot of things in this world that distract you from who you need to become. So I've isolated myself like over the winter, over the spring, like this spring. And I've just dedicated it to me because I've kind of lost myself in the hustle of trying to get myself together and get a new car, bounce back. And that can all be like frustrating when you have people in your ear like, oh, don't do this, don't do that, or you can't do this, it's too late, or you know, like that's been a constant battle over the, like, uh, over the past couple of months, that's been a, mm -hmm. a struggle. So I found myself through art, I found myself through hobbies. Like I didn't know that I really loved painting I really like that for a while I doubted myself through school like no I don't I don't like to paint I don't like to do this I don't know I was literally distracted by a lot of people a lot of things about my home life mm -hmm. that was distracting so once I got out of my environment everything shifted I I, I cut off a lot of people I didn't hang out with a lot of people so now I just Oh. Yeah, you went off the, you went MIA for a little bit. I ain't gonna cap to you. Yeah. You went MIA for a little bit, but now nah, that's um that's cool. Like, see, I can't paint for nothing. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I'm pretty sure Malik probably mm, he can't paint at all. So if you can paint, that's obviously a gift for real. Cause like, I mean, Squirrel's parents like they real like artistic and stuff. But like, mm -hmm. if you put a paintbrush in front of me and, and a little paper, and I, I can't paint nothing. It's gonna like scribble scribble. I ain't gonna lie to you. But, um, so, like, do you have, like, any, like, favorite artists or anything? Favorite artists? Honestly, no. So you just like all types of art? I do. I love all types of art. I love, I love abstract more than anything because I've learned that, like, through art, you have to make bad art mm -hmm. to make excellent art, to make good art. And in my eyes, any art is, is amazing and it's, it's great. I've appreciated it. I've learned over the uh, the past couple months just to appreciate what you can and what you can't do. And I've learned that I can do that. I've pushed myself and I've, I've been looking at a lot of YouTube. I've been on YouTube crazy and I've learned like to become the best artist, you got to make bad work. So if if I put a canvas in front of your face and it's a paint, I would just tell you do whatever. I wouldn't tell you exactly what to do. It's, there's no way or right away to do art. It's gonna be a bunch of circles on my Yeah, screen. might as well. That's what <laughs> abstract is. It's just a bunch of everything. This is a whole bunch of circles. circles. And, and, yeah. Put Lamar Jackson, Alfred, Tries, and put a whole bunch of stuff you ain't even gonna understand. Hell yeah. Not so, uh, have like, you ever thought about going to like school for art or anything? Or like? No. Honestly, no. You don't like school? No. I'm gonna be completely honest. Like after high school, I was like, nah, school's not for me. I gotta go get it. It My definitely, way. it definitely is a struggle. Like working full time and coming home, having to do classwork. You know, leave work early, go to class, and then depending on the classes you take, they're gonna stack you up with all this work and then these two days. It's just so much. Like I had one professor that was like, um. He was like, every little professor is like 11.59 p.m. Sunday night. This one just had to be different. And it'd be Friday by 11.59 p.m. on Friday nights. I'm like, why oh, you gotta be like that? But, I mean, it wasn't bad, but school definitely is not something that every route everyone should take. I mean, there's routes 
sways to go around everything, you know? So right. I'm pretty sure not every single artist went to college for it. I'm pretty sure it's not. You probably just had to give. Yeah. So like, how often do you think you like look in the art daily? Mm. Like 24 7. I don't like, think 24 7. I think it's maybe four times out of my out of my week. I I like actually I've I've been scheduling myself for the good lately to where I can make time for it. So it's it's four times a week at this moment. And it's maybe about an hour and thirty minutes a a day. Okay, okay, okay. So let me ask you this. Do you think like your fashion is like part of art? Like fashion is like a big type of art in a sense? Oh yeah, of course, of course, I think it is. So you into like all the designers and everything? Yeah. So who's like, who would you say is like your favorite designer? Like Designer? Like clothing company, anything. Clothing company. Okay, so my favorite clothing company is, it's called uh, Sporty and Rich. Sporty and Rich. It's a California brand. And it's, it's, it's like a tennis brand. It's like a, just a sporty and rich. It's they they like uh, promote like t-shirts. They promote sweatshirts. They promote all of that. But I see a lot of celebrities mm -hmm. wearing it. But it's like maybe like Haley Bieber, or you see uh, Justin B B G. Yeah, her. But I just I look up to her as well. She's such a good model and. I, I see her her magazine pictures all the time. I, I, I view them. I'm I'm I want to model too, but that's a different route. I'm trying to just stop rushing myself. It's always gonna be there, and mm -hmm. I've learned that like and you can't like I've learned like through that brand. It's called Sporty and Rich. Like it took them a while to get where they're at, and that's why I like that brand. It's yeah. big, and I'm, I I want to go to Cali. I don't have a business in Cali. Cali. Yeah. You seen them Cali gas prices? Oh yeah. <clears throat> Medino County, six dollars twenty one cents, six dollars twenty cents in Riverside County. So um, it's not always fun with these gas prices, but if you think it's bad, uh, hold on to your hat <laughs> because uh, the city of Mendocino is charging nearly ten dollars a gallon. Gas Buddy says that it makes it the most expensive gas in the country. So if you think they're high here in the Southland, uh, you can see what they're charging up there in Northern California. Uh, this comes at a time where people are trying to do their best to um, help out. Uh, mm. Lick, you going to Cali? <laughs> How much gas is out there, bro? Can you search it real quick? It's like almost six bucks. It's about to be like six out here. It comes a lot. I can only imagine what it's like in Cali. I thought it was seven. Seven? Seven dollars. I thought it was seven. Oh. Last time oh, I was in Cali. Current average is six. Like, oh. Yeah, it was like six when I went out to Cali. That was what, September? So it's been like that for a Yeah, break. that's the average. So yeah, it's probably like seven or something. Like yeah. Because everybody out there got cars, you need premium gas, bro. That's crazy. I can't imagine. Like, I wanted to go fill out my car today. A half a tank was, what, almost $40, bro. I was sick. Half a tank? <clears throat> yeah, I used to fill out my Jetta with Plus. Like, that's insane. Jetta with Plus? That's yeah. just crazy. I'm sticking to the van. The van? That, that, that thing only lasts for, like, $30. $30. I'm good. For gas in a van? Yes, in a van. Bro, there's no way. Yes. A full tank. Full tank. $30. It's saving me money. What's, what's your tank on right now? I just spilled it. Nah, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to make sure that's not a lie. I'm telling you, I'm going to keep up with that one. I'm definitely going to make sure that's not a lie. Because there's no way your stuff went 30. If that's the case, we all should be with the minivans. Yeah, you should. I'm playing. I can't do that, A bro. Jetta? Yes. Jetta. Jettas are fun to drive. Okay. Leak, bro. <laughs> It's better than minivans for sure. I'm uh, saying. I cruise in that van. I bet you do. You look <laughs> like you drive fast. You probably be speeding like crazy. I, I chilled out actually. I, I chilled out. I'm not gonna lie. I had some some stuff going. I had I had to slow down. You got you got a ticket? No. You got a warning? No. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Ain't no other reason to slow down. I've never gotten pulled over, actually. I'm, you better, you better knock luck. on the wood table before you get pulled over. I've had the luck. 
and nah. not getting pulled over. Hmm, that's a different story for Squirrel. Squirrel then got put over what, like five times, and he only got a ticket one of the times. What was he doing? Driving. I'm not, that's undisclosed information. I'm gonna let him explain that to you because his girlfriend upstairs and she probably called him a moron for it already, but I'm gonna let oh. him do all the talking. But, but okay. All right, let me get into the next topic. So you said you wanna get into real estate, right? Yes. Big real estate person. Big real estate. Tell me y'all can't see me in a suit. Like, showing houses. Tell me y'all can't see that. And Cali? Hell yeah, multi million dollar homes. Poof. Poof. It'll take me a while, but. The cost of living out there is so crazy, though. It is, but it's great money out there. You got a realtor out there? I actually want to do real estate in uh, DC. I want to move to DC. DC is a good spot yeah. for that. Yeah, the DC, like all of them, all the areas, really good for real estate. So what I'm hearing is you're a, you a city girl. Oh, yeah, big time. Big time. I don't know, man. The city is too crazy, bruh. No, I've actually, when I went to New York, I went to New York maybe like three weeks ago. Uh huh. And I really enjoyed it. I could see myself living in the city. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm oh. not gonna lie. I'm not was gonna you lie. driving or was like you taking trains? No, I took the train. And I was just walking. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It was cool. New York? Not New York. Ask, um. Maybe like Atlanta. Where, where's Squirrel's girlfriend from again? Queens, right? Oh yeah, ask her all about New York. She'll give you, she'll give you a whole rundown on why you don't want to be there, bro. <laughs> it's just so busy, like, I can't do that. Plus, like, I don't even like the fact that, like, everybody's getting as busy as it is lately. I'm honestly, I already told, they, I told all of them, I told them, I said, y'all can catch me like four acres in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I will literally live in the sticks. I have no problem the with that. Sticks? Yes, it would be nothing no, but trees around me. Like your neighbor, like maybe a couple miles from you. Maybe a half a mile. They won't. Like, I'm talking about. I can go outside and scream as loud as possible, and no one can call and complain. Like I want to be. I don't want to be within city limits of any city. Like I'm talking like they gotta call a sheriff department to come take care of something that happens at the house, stuff like that. Okay. Like I'm trying to be so far away from everything. The peaceful life. Yes, the life where you can go outside on like a gator or something and just ride around and tear your own grass. I know you did not just say a gator. Bro, I'm telling you, <laughs> a lot has, I'm telling you, I have become like, I don't even know, I just be like outside really just doing dumb stuff with them. I'm telling you, we just be doing dumb stuff. It's good with that one, bro, because he's still going. I don't think I'm going to do dumb stuff. What y'all do outside? Our friend Hogan, he got like so many acres. Like we just be like riding around the ATV, like we live up in Whiteford and then like we'll go down to like the river, drive through the river on the gator. Yes. We just be doing, I don't want to say country boy stuff. I mean, that's fine. I don't, but I don't know if we, Malik, would you say that's country boy stuff? Just outdoor stuff. Just outdoors, mm -hmm. like we just, just outdoors, like we go, like if we go to the city, mm -hmm. like together, we get cranky because all the traffic it's just so busy yeah i mean we can like when we went out to philly like last weekend we was walking around obviously enjoying it but like i want to say like towards the end it's just so much happening like we was walking down this one street getting a cheesesteak or whatever and this one lady like she just just passes out out of nowhere like she's just standing there and just passed out you probably don't remember that but i was sitting there ordering my food mm -hmm. shorty yes. passed out right next to me really? yeah and they just started pouring water on her neck oh. and stuff yeah, yeah. and then when the ambulance came they like blocked the whole road off so that whole road that was busy full of cars just sitting there waiting see i can't that's why i can't do the city oh stuff like because like how they gonna get out to get her to the hospital in time mm -hmm. yeah it was great like she was just sitting there talking and she just black i was like oh no oh God, that's so scary. then like the little people was hustling on the side it was like come here bro come here bro ain't nobody <laughs> trying to buy no weed dog come here bro hey come here bro nah but so you said you want to do real estate in cali dc and now you're talking about you might live you might want to live in new york right i mean i don't want to live in new york but i definitely want to do real estate not in new york of course not new york i want to do atlanta houston Arizona. So all the rappers be at so That's where all that's that's where all the good real estate is at. That's where the market's at. I mean, Cali 
there's different parts of Cali where I can sell all the way from the suburbs to all the way to the multi-million dollar homes. But I wouldn't do that because why not? And I love houses. I've always been around real estate my whole life. Mm -hmm. Literally, it's been just invested in me. Like, I, I just have a lot of connections and I don't know, I see myself doing way more than I guess my family mm -hmm. would, you know, support. So it's like, it's good to have your head set on something that's already been around you. You've already been in that environment. Like my dad was trying to sell, well not trying to sell, he was trying to buy a home for I don't know how long. And we would literally go on every single weekend just looking for homes with his real estate agent. And through that time, she like always told me, you need to get into this, you need to do this. Like, you would do so good. Mm -hmm. She's like, I just I have so many people that are willing to you know help you like invest in this, like do this. Like, Jump on it. Yeah. No, Plus, you said it. the word too. You said connections. That's the that's the biggest word yeah. that you can use right now. Connections is everything. I swear. That's what gets you to the top. Especially in a market like that, real estate. It's big. This is big, and it can it can be so big to where I could potentially buy just buy properties. And have people live them, rent rent people out, and just have that as an income while I'm just selling homes back to back. Like mm -hmm. I really want to do that. I want to have passive income. Like it's 2022, you can't live without passive income. You have to have way more than like just one. And I've just lived around people who just have struggled, and I don't want to do that. I really don't. Understood. Yes. That is very true, especially with inflation. Everything is like crazy expensive. I'm just, I'm still mad. There's no reason to have a tank to be $35. I'm not going to get over that for a while. And it's just going to get worse to the point where probably I'll be spending like almost 50 for a half a tank. And I might actually like, I might tear up taking my card out. Don't think I'm like, yo. The only bright side to that is credit cards with cash back right now. That cash back is hitting different. Oh my gosh. I just so applied. I just finally applied for a credit card. Which one? Um, what is it called? What's that one? It's pla it's a platinum one card. Capital one? Capital one, yeah. I applied for it. I'm waiting for them to get back to me on that. Because I need to work on my credit card. Like, the only thing I dislike about Capital One is who they use for the credit score calculator. They use credit wise. And the main one I think is FICO. Mm -hmm. FICO? And Discover uses FICO. But I mean at the end of the end of the day, like they all like average out and all that. But like I don't know, I just like having Discover I go on there and be like, their FICO score. Cause like if I go on credit, usually credit wise is like twenty I think it's like 20 to 30 under what it should be or something sometimes. Mm -hmm. Cause like my credit wise, I go on there and be like, oh you have a 690 and I like go on Discover and be like, you have a 715, 7 something. And it just goes up and down so much when you first get like, your first year, you're gonna be looking at it, it's gonna make you so mad cause it's gonna jump up with like 20 points in one day and it's gonna drop back down 30 and it's gonna go up 20, it's gonna, it's gonna make you mad. So don't even look at it. It's gonna, it's gonna make you so mad. Or like when you go like to make your first big purchase, oh mm -hmm. my God. I think when I bought my car, I had like seven, I had like a 740, and I had just started building up. That's like eight months after having it. I bought my car, and my stuff dropped down to 680. Cause that loan is just so big. So imagine it's like buying a house. Oh. oh <laughs> That's God. so heartbreaking, bro. It's so heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking just watching it drop like that. I'm trying to get a new car. You don't like the minivan? $30, $30 nah, tank, all right? I I got the minivan. Oh nah, God. now you got to. You have to explain it now, that $30 tank. <laughs> all right, so I bought so I bought my very first car back in April of last year. It was a Honda Accord. It was 04. Really nice. Had a sunroof. It was cute. They love them Accords out here, but they love them Accords. Yes, we do, man. They get, you, they get you where you need to go, okay? It's a liar. Jet is better. Oh, you know that Jetta stuff. All right, I'm, I'm gonna shut my mouth. You can finish. Okay. So, I bought it in April, had it for a couple of months, and then one night I was driving home, and it was like two in the morning, mm -hmm. and I fell asleep, and I crashed my car. That's that's how I got there. 
You fell asleep behind the wheel. I fell asleep. Yeah, I fell asleep behind the wheel. I was very exhausted. I'm, I'm a stubborn person. So I don't, I just wanted to get home into my bed. And I didn't realize that I was up the whole entire day. And I was, I just wasn't really in the right state of mind, I guess, because mm -hmm. of the people that I was around at that time. So I just wanted to come home. L friends. Yes. <laughs> so after that, um, I had I only had like liability, so I was just screwed. That's all you need on a car that's like like a 04. Yeah, I was screwed. So you know I couldn't get anything. I couldn't get any money. Like you know I crashed my vehicle that had only had liability, so I couldn't get anything for it. So it kind of like set me back, and then I moved. And, you know my mom's been trying to help me out, and she's like, look, like you know I'll give you I'll give you the van. Like you know we can go back and forth. And until you get your new car, and I'll help you get your new car, and yeah. W moms, W moms. Yes. My mom would just slap me in the wrist, say be better. <sighs> I know. That's what my dad did. My dad, like, my dad came to beat me up that night. He was like, he was like, why? Why did you do that? Because I feel like with dads, they have to like to them. Some some dads are like they have to like you know be tough in a sense. Yeah. So like sometimes they might come off as like, you know, a hole. Mm -hmm. I get that on my dad. He come off as a hole all the time but then he'll be like then he'll pull me aside at the end after it's over. He's like, I was just doing that to build your character. Like I like, I already know, man. I've been living with you what, twenty years now? I already know. Don't even <laughs> yes. worry about it. But yeah, they just trying to be tough with me. That's all it is. They're just trying to build a character. Like Mr. Steve, y'all missed it. So when I was down here cleaning off this table with the Legos on it, right? He was cleaning off the pool table. Bro starts screaming. After I put the star with it, he's like, why would you put it on there, you moron? I was like, Mr. Steve, like, you was cleaning it off. I got to put it somewhere, not on here. Man. He's like, well, why you put it on there? And I was like, all right, Mr. Steve, where else is going to go? Man, it's fucking around here about five minutes trying to find a spot for that big old starship thing over there. I'm like, where else you going to put that, Mr. Steve? Nobody's playing pool. But now, like, just stuff like that is got to come off, like, you know, tough or, like, say things, like, build your character in a sense. Yeah, I get it. So now you up in the minivan, thirty dollar tank. It's cool. Now is it thirty dollar tank fully, or is it like you and your mom going half and half? I'm not gonna lie, it's just that's just half. So that's just half. I've been 60. I've been riding around with half a tank. Like I'm not gonna lie. So when I go fill it up, it's only thirty, y'all. I'm saving. What you mean? But then you still burn it. So in the end, if oh you was God. burning it the whole way to get the mileage, you still gonna have to put sixty in it one way or another. But I'm not putting sixty. In. But listen, hold up, listen, right? So if you drive, so if you do $30, right, half a tank, right? right? So you bust that, maybe like 100, maybe 200 miles to 150 miles. If you drive 150 miles, you're going to drive 150 miles for you to drive 300. So you're going to have to put $30 back in it. Or if you just drive all 300, you might get a little bit extra time, but you're still going to have to spend that $60 somewhere in there. I'm just saying, I mean, that's just a little bit of math right there you know school kind of they, they did i with that i'm actually she did good but you gonna have to be dealing with mommy too over here selling houses oh no you're gonna have to remember freaking everything. square footage how many everything. acres everything the, the laws how many bathrooms how mm. many bedrooms it is two and a half three and a half basement size <laughs> the I'm, lot size it's, I'm gonna build it up. You got time, a whole lot of time, but I can only imagine how much a real estate agent is making right now. But this market, like dealerships, they've been ripping people off like crazy lately. Ooh. Honda Accords, I think the new ones, they go for like twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I looked at one before I got my car, so I'm not even going, I'm not even gonna lie there, even though Jetta's are better than Accords. John was like $19,999, so basically just 20K, right? So I went in there, and my mom was like, I'm not co-signing for that right now. You're about to leave. I'm like, wow. Came back after all the crazy stuff happened. I was going to military training for like three weeks. Came back, and that car went up. Base price went up 5000 so it was 24000 Then you got to put all your warranties, all that stuff. It would have added another five, so it was like $30,000 for a Honda Accord. What I look like, man? <laughs> what year was it? I'm, it was a... So it was a 19, same year as my car now, but like it had everything. Like it had a 2.0, it had, it had everything in it. It had paddle shifters, the little panoramic sunroof, leather okay, seats, everything okay. I needed. And my mom was like, I'm not co-signing this. I low-key could have saved money, but 
you know, it's all your fault, mom, if you watch this. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, I could have had that, and that probably would have been cheaper on gas. It probably would. I don't know how many gallons it is. Though. What's your Jetta take? 89 That's expensive. See, there's no reason why my car should cost more to fill up than your minivan. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> that's a lot. I mean, but but that's my car, though. Like, that's that's like that's my baby, so I always put gas in it. Don't matter. She might make me mad, but like it's cool. At least she's not malfunctioning on you. She better not. Oh my gosh, I had to deal with that for a couple of months. My mom's other car. Like, it had all this stuff, all this other stuff wrong with it. What kind of car was it? It was a Ford Focus. It was, it was like real old. It was like an 06. Man, you should be glad she got American made though. She can get that fixed for the low. Oh, yeah. I can't do that with that. Yeah. Don't even get me started on the expenses on that Sierra. No, nope. no, no, no. I mean, it's not as bad as a BMW and a Benz. Cause like BMW, they like their engine runs off of like I think like like sixty percent oil. So like their oil changes, they take like how many? I don't know how many quarts it is, but like the little oil cans, they do they be dumping like four in there. They do an oil change, and you gotta do the key to like get into the engine and stuff. Mm -hmm. Too much. That's way too much. Yeah, wow, but it's like, car. but it's like 15. I think they get one like every 10 or 15 thousand miles. Wow. Well, other cars you like what five maybe? Yeah. I don't know. I know my still 10 thousand, but it's still expensive and I don't like it. I'm trying to get a Lexus. Oh. Whew, that would have been hurting my pockets. So. Yeah, no. That's premium gas right that's there. That's premium, I know, exactly. You can, you can kiss that $30 half a tank for buy. I know. Because that stuff about to be like $6 a gallon here soon. You would have a whoo. As Teddy, he had a Lexus. Like, Remember, Teddy told me this one story. Stop. He put, um, what did he do? He put regular gas yeah. in high school. He put regular gas in his Lexus before he came over to school. He said that thing was on a half a tank by the time he got to school from around the corner. Bro, I was dying laughing. Oh bro, gosh. I was like, Freddie, I was like, Teddy, you can't put regular in a Lexus. But that had me dying when he did that. How is, uh, how is he actually? He's good, bro. He's big, like, buff, ripped. Oh, I thought you meant, like. No, he's, <laughs> like, ripped. Nah, Teddy, nah, nah. He, yeah, he, right. he be in the gym every day though. Like he live in there. He be doing little gym videos and stuff now. Okay. But yeah, I'm probably going. I gotta get him on here soon. But I just don't feel like driving up no Penn State. No disrespect, Ted. Let me know you in the area, bro. I'm not driving up to Penn State with these gas prices. Yeah, that's a great. That's what I'm saying. That's a great. So we at 27 already. You said 27? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And you got anything like anything else you want to touch base on, like? What, mm -hmm. I mean, we already talked about what made you like real estate, like anything, like. Actually, yeah, I'm about to um, start lashing, which is like lash extensions. What's that? As how they say that esthetician or something? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna do like the skincare and waxing and everything. Oh, That's just... like morally on the esthetician, but See, I don't know this the stuff. lash technician is. I just want to strictly do lashing, so all from like lash tints to lash lips to just the individual. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've actually been um, looking at lash benders, looking at the lash bed. I've, I've been like looking at everything, trying to get put together. Um, but I do have a lot of people like, you know, from my Instagram, from my Snapchat, they're gonna be clients. So I have a clientele actually now. Connections. Yes, so I'm actually really excited about that because that's gonna be another one of my incomes because I, I already do Poshmark, I already do like Instacart, have all that stuff going. Um, with my Poshmark, I go to thrifts, I go to flea markets, I go all, all to the malls, I go everywhere, and I resell. So you really be hustling? Yeah, I get to this money. Say no more. Yeah. That's tough though. You have to go MIA, you have to find yourself, and you gotta get to that money. Who else is gonna do that for you, but you? You're not wrong. See, she over here spitting. It's my Lossy. podcast. That's crazy. She over here spitting. I don't, I don't know. You can't be taking over my stuff like this, though. I told you. I just want to try to know how much sass this lady has, bro. It's so much. I don't even understand. It's been great. <laughs> no, bro. No. <laughs> not too much sass. No, so you said Instacart, Poshmark. 
Are you about to do the lash extensions? Yes. Don't you like, didn't you say you were working like a spa place? A spa? I don't know you. I'm I'm asking. No, I don't I don't work at a spa. Um at the at the time when I had saw saw you at the party, I was actually doing a remote job from home. It was at an acting and modeling company and I was going to be a sales representative. I really needed sales experience and they were hands-on and I got to see a lot of talents and I met a lot of connections through that for one, okay? And Bro, you just doing everything. Like that, like that's serious. She's doing everything. I have to. Like, who else is gonna do it for me? I. Dang, somebody about to be watching this and feel belittled. I thought they was doing something. <laughs> that's so crazy. Nah, like, I, it's it's all about how you like manage your time, and if you really want that stuff, you're gonna go and get it. Like, I've I've actually went back to church too. Mm -hmm. I've been attending church, and I've been like relying on my faith, and you it's been good. Like, I've actually like found out that like my my faith is just what's been keeping me going these past couple of months like went back to please. church and like after i went back to church i'm telling you like my sales on poshmark went bizarre like they went up like people were buying from me and i was like what you like, better knock on wood again sierra oh my gosh you about to drink stuff out here man god, i don't know god works in mysterious ways and that's why i'm here that's why i'm here that's true that's why i'm here that's how i met all my guys yeah. I can't even tell you how we all started hanging out. I can't even bring it up. It just happened. You know, it's so crazy that, like, you guys still hang out. <laughs> like, I didn't think, like, I've always looked at people from high school. I'm like, oh, do they still hang out? Or, are they still in connection? And, like, none of them are. And, like, y'all are, like, I think one of the friend groups that I know that. Like, yeah, this friend together. group ain't breaking, bro. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> it's, just, it's just too much stuff, like... It's to the point where like we know so much about each other. It's just like mm -hmm. you can just leave that one off, bro. Yeah, this not even childish, bro. You said what? It's like done. It says change that. For real? Yeah. I gotta go home for night to get here. Dang, but yeah, you just you said what? I didn't say nothing. I said damn. I just said damn. That's all I said. I didn't say nothing else. That's what I meant. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah. But um, I'm going to let you know any last sentences or quotes you want to send to anybody, any type of like wisdom to let them hustle like the Sierra Cullum, my fault. That's it, like that's Ah, oh, stop. Yeah, now, now I got her thinking. She over here was acting on uh, uh, sassy and now, nah. now she in the hot seat. Now nah, I'm a boss lady at heart and I feel like everybody should be a boss, okay? You don't depend on no man, you depend on yourself. Go get to that. Can you say that one more time, please? Okay. No, like, I just want you to repeat. I heard what you said. Okay. I want you to say it again because, okay. like, I want you to emphasize your message. Be a boss lady, okay? No man is going to be your boss man. You, you don't got to say lady. boss lady. It, it be dudes okay. out here, too, that need some wisdom. Okay, okay. You Everyone, can just say be a boss. Be a boss. Be a boss, okay? See, she over here trying to set the standard. I'm, I'm a, really trying to figure out... She what? trying to set the standard being the first female on here. She got to make the... I, I got to make it good. I got to make it good. They already heard your first message. You can leave with that one. I just want you to discourage my men out there, you know? Okay. Because we still be on our stuff, too. Yeah, y'all still need to get, get that money. Get that bag. Right, 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 get, right. Get, get, that, get that, uh, that degree. Keep going. It's going to pay off. It all pays off in the end. Hey man, y'all heard her. I'm probably gonna wrap it up here in a little bit, probably. Um, I appreciate Sierra for coming on. Yes. First female, I know y'all was asking to get a female here. Now y'all got it. I don't know when this is gonna drop. I'm gonna send this off to my editor, get everything situated, but um, let me put your, you got like a little Poshmark page, right? Yeah, I got the Poshmark page, my Instagram. Anything yeah. that you got, just send it to me. I'm going to get the links for it. I'll put it in the description. Bet. I'm going to get this out to y'all real quick. And I'm about to shoot another one here in a little bit. But once again, thanks, Sierra. Hi. I'll give you a little round of applause. Hi. Hopefully put that in there. And uh, I appreciate you coming on here. Anything else? No, I'm just happy to be here. All right. I'll see y'all on episode eight. See y'all.